Hello everyone, back to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the JMA seasonal model for today's first video. So we're going to go three months ahead with the Japanese uh, seasonal model. It's going to take us from August through September to October. And uh, we'll have a look and see what the JMA is forecasting for the next uh, three months very shortly. Uh, we're going to do the second uh, seasonal model roundup on Saturday. It'll be the first video up on Saturday morning. And we're going to get all the long range models together. That one is around 12 or 13 of them. Get them all together and see what we're all showing for the autumn. The JMA will form part of that update. Uh, but of course, with so many other models to look at, we can't really drill down into the detail uh, of the JMA model within that update because we've got so much else to look at. So we always like to take this one out, isolate it out, have a look at it in its own terms. So that's what we're going to do for this first video. Uh, later on today, we're going to bring you up to date with uh, how things are developing with Furnace. Thursday, so it's going to be a very, very hot day today, uh, and uh, I'll bring you up to date with all of the latest developments on that in uh, today's uh, main video update that we're with you. So it might be Stormwatch coming up as well later on uh, today. So we're going to start off with the uh, northern North Pole view down, the Northern Hemisphere view from the North Pole uh, down, first of all, for August. So it's just one month away. This should be the most reliable part of, uh, of the update. Really. That's the Northern North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere, just there, mid latitudes. Northern Hemisphere are around there. On these height anomaly charts, uh, yellow, orange and red extrapolated to above average heights, which is high pressure, and blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. So it looks like the centre is a little bit westerly, actually, uh, for August. We've got this area of below average heights to our west and northwest around Iceland and Greenland. That's the Azores High down there. It looks a little bit weaker than normal, certainly for August. A little bit southerly displaced, I have to say. It seems we're running the jet stream in as well. So that could be signalling a rather unsettled and potentially slightly uh, cool sort of month for August. Rather Atlantic driven, potentially a rather unsettled end to uh, summer 2019 perhaps. All change for September. This is the uh, 500 millibar height anomaly for September. And we get the orange colours appearing just to the north, northeast of the country and also stretching out to the northwest. Uh, this would imply an anti cyclonic September. A lot of dry and quite warm weather, perhaps, on offer here. And bringing in these easterly winds, which in September are going to be quite warm. Remember, Autumn's a transitional season, so in September, Easterlies will be warm, but by November, Easterlies can be quite cold. Um, but here in September, with high pressure uh, over Scandinavia and winds in from the east, you would expect a relatively dry and quite warm month, I would have thought, uh, for September. So uh, uh, a bit of an extended summer, perhaps. And then to October, and it's all change again. Look at this very unsettled looking signal for October. Now, this is three months away, so it's a long way out. It's very unreliable. But the JMA at the moment is forecasting northern blocking to be in uh, over the Arctic during October. And a trough of low pressure over and to the west of the UK could signal a very, very unsettled month indeed. It might be quite a cool month as well, because with that northern blocking, we could be pushing some pretty cool air down into that trough of low pressure. Not sure about that, but certainly a very unsettled October would be expected because that is a deep trough of low pressure centred just over and to the west of the country. So really unsettled conditions during October. But it's three months away, so it's pretty unreliable. Let's have a look at the tropical and mid latitude view then and we'll uh, see what the temperature and precipitation anomalies are looking like with these heights. So the British Isles and Ireland in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. Um, can't see the North Pole, that's off the chart uh, now, but of course we just had a look at that view down so we don't need to look at it uh, again particularly. We're back to August, this is the 500 millibar height anomaly for August. It's got above average heights through the middle of the Atlantic. Uh, below average heights just out to the north and northwest of us. Does look rather westy. Looks like we'd be running the jet stream in and could be a little bit on the unsettled side as well. Temperature anomalies aren't too bad. They're holding up uh, close to or a little bit above average. It's temperature scale uh, down here. That is the scale uh, down there. So anything blue is going to be cold and average. Anything yellow, orange, red, that's going to be warmer than average. When you see those cream sort of colours, that's pretty much average to slightly above average. And pale blue just there 
is uh, average to slightly cooler than average. So, from the warmer side of average, not a big deviation. Temperature's not doing too bad, but certainly nothing that exciting. But it is a bit wetter than average, which is what I was expecting uh, with that setup. It does look rather westerly, rather zonal, and uh, just a rather, rather sort of um, westerly type. Uh, August. I mean, it's not a total washout of the month, but it is a little bit above average for precipitation. And with Wesley flow, temperatures won't be particularly exciting. We can confirm those Wesley winds with the uh, wind arrows. It's always a little bit difficult to make these out, but these black arrows are coming across the Atlantic in that direction into the UK. And so this tells us we have got westerly winds feeding in from off the Atlantic during August, if the forecast from the model is right. Of course, maybe it's only a projection, uh, uh, so it's only an indication of what the model is showing. It's going for a westerly August, which will bring us uh, cloud and rain at times, particularly so for the north and west. Dry conditions will be in the south, and temperatures will probably be close to average. Uh, whoops, that's gone wrong, so <laughs> let's go to bed. It's all changed for September. Above average heights then start building in strongly, a big ridge setting up from the Atlantic into the north of the UK. Again, you can't see Scandinavia. Scandinavia is going to be up there. But uh, we know from the North Pole view down that we have, again, got this high pressure sitting to our north and northeast and into the Atlantic too. So it's an anticyclonic looking signal for September, bringing back summer uh, for the beginning of the autumn, perhaps. Temperature anomalies are only slightly above average, so uh, nothing particularly exciting with the temperature anomaly for September. I suppose with anticyclonic conditions in September, what you are going to get is relatively cool nights, probably. So you will maybe get into a situation where you've got warm days being offset by cool, misty nights. And of course, when that happens, your temperature anomaly won't come out all that far away from average really it is a much drier month though the uh, model is forecasting drier than average conditions during september which obviously is expected because we've virtually sat under an area of high pressure the mean wind direction is uh pretty variable but generally it's easterly you can see here with the black arrows again we've got the uh, black arrows going in that direction so rather easterly looking uh, September, to be honest, with high pressure sitting up to our northeast over Scandinavia. And then all changed for October. Now this is three months away, so it is very unreliable. But uh, at the moment, the JMA is forecasting a very, very unsettled uh, October indeed, with low pressure really taking over. And quite a strong northern blocking signal as well. There's lots of high pressure going on up here towards Greenland and going up to the North Pole. As you imagine that, Greenland and North Pole will be off the chart up there. So it does look very unsettled, that, uh, for October. Temperature anomalies continue to hold up okay. You see, this model does tend to default kind of to use uh, average to slightly above average and stick with that, really. Uh, so the signal is definitely around average um, temperatures. And obviously, as low pressure is back in control, it's a more unsettled month as well with above average rainfall. But I think this would be probably a, a, a wetter month than August. I mean, although it's signaling very similar sort of anomalies to August on the colour scheme, it's around there, which is average to slightly above average precipitation, that's what we have for August. I think in reality, uh, with such a deep trough of low pressure centred almost over the top of the country, let's face it, you would expect a very wet October, actually, with that scenario. Um, mean wind arrows are westerly uh, and cyclonic, so uh, you can see the wind direction coming from uh, that kind of direction. You will notice there is a bit of a northerly element to those uh, black arrows as well. So into this trough, we could well be pulling in some pretty cool air, uh, actually. So maybe October out of the three months has the best chance of being a, a little bit colder than average with uh, that trough of low pressure pulling down some pretty cool air from the north. But as it's three months away, it's not really worth being 
uh, being overly sort of um, interpretive, if that's the word, uh, about it, because it's so far out that it is likely to change in subsequent updates. So very interesting uh, three months, lots of variation there from month to month, lots of intra-month variation. August, uh, rather westerly, a little bit unsettled, not particularly excited with temperatures. September, high pressure dominated, mainly dry um, probably quite warm by day, maybe a bit cool by night. And then it goes very unsettled for October, autumn really setting in uh, during October. Well, as I say, this up JMA update will form part of the uh, second autumn 2019 season one roundup that we're going to release on Saturday morning. So uh, you'll see then how this sort of compares to all of the other models and uh, we'll find out then whether the JMA is uh, is in agreement with, other, with the other models or whether actually is a bit isolated. Uh, right, that's it for your uh, first video update for today. We'll be back later on with the week's 10 video update, which will include all of the latest information on how hot it's getting out there uh, this afternoon. So uh, that'll be with you, second video update uh, later on. Also, Stormwatch probably later today as well. So uh, keep checking back to all of videos. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.